Evolution muscular dystrophy or DMD is a severe genetic disorder that leads to progressive muscle weakness and degeneration due to disruptions to the protein dystrophin which helps keep muscle cells intact. It's the most common congenital disease in Canada affecting about 1 out of every 3500 males and in rarer cases females. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Esra Zaman and today I'm going to discuss about cancer drug which shows potential as treatment for muscular dystrophy. Researchers at the University of British Columbia School of Biomedical Engineering have discovered that an existing cancer drug could have potential as a treatment for muscular dystrophy. The researchers found that the drug known as the Colony Stimulating Factor 1 Receptor or CSF1R inhibitor help slow the progress of Duchenne muscular dystrophy in mice by increasing the resilience of muscle fibers. DMD symptoms typically appear in early childhood with patients facing increased loss of muscle function as they age. As the disease progresses, many patients are forced to rely on mobility aids such as a wheelchair with the disease eventually impacting heart and even lung function. While improvements in cardiac and respiratory care have increased life expectancy in recent decades, there is currently no cure. The findings caught the researchers by surprise while they were initially studying the role of resident macrophages, a type of white blood cell in muscle regeneration. During experimentation in mice, they found that CSF1R inhibitors, which deplete resident macrophages, had the unexpected effect of making muscle fibers more resistant to the type of contraction-induced tissue damage that is characteristic of muscular dystrophy. The drug had the effect of changing the type of muscle fibers in the animal's body from damage-sensitive type 2B fibers toward damage-resistant type 2A, 2X fibers. After making the discovery, the researchers tested the drug in mice with DMD. Within a few months of treatment, they began to see successful results. The mice that underwent treatment showed higher frequencies of damage-resistant muscle fibers and were able to perform physical tasks like moderate running on a treadmill with less muscle damage than their untreated counterparts. The researchers say that further studies are needed to identify if CSF1R is effective at treating Duchenne muscular dystrophy in humans. Considering that several short-term clinical studies have already shown that this class of drug is safe for use in people, they are hopeful that it could mean a patient-ready treatment is on the horizon. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like subscribe and press the bell icon.